once before and I'll link down below in the description box below of my first experience and what I thought about it. Um, as I was getting ready my husband noticed a gray hair. So now I'm progressing just for henna not only being a hair conditioning treatment like a protein treatment even though henna technically is not a protein, it does strengthen your hair and has some properties that act like a protein. But now I'm using this bad boy as to color my hair. Ah, getting older. But anyway, this is all natural, so I'm pretty excited. And the henna I'm going to use is from Lush, um, Kaka Noor. So it does, my natural hair color is, is jet black. So um, this um, henna has indigo in it and therefore had, will dye your hair black. If you notice, the first time I did it, I only used one little chunk here. So I'm gonna go ahead, I got some water boiling and I decided to, this is the last conditioner in the Organics Candy Johnson line. I haven't reviewed yet the Frosted Sugar Cookie. I have used it. Um, it's really thin, um, has very little slip, and not that much um, moisturizing properties for a co-wash. So I just decided to use this as a kind of mixture with the henna, so it's not just straight henna. And um, hopefully my hair won't be too hard. So all I'm gonna do, if you notice, I used a glass bowl. I'm using a spatula, I'm not using anything metal. With the exception, I do have to, when I cut the block, I do have to use a knife. So that's the only time I'm gonna use metal. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off what I need of henna and I'll come right back. Okay, so this is how much I cut up. And I forgot how hard that freaking block of henna is. So I'm gonna take Definitely, woo, smells very herby. Now I know this is a really, I can feel the big block right here. So I'm kind of hoping the hot, hot water will kind of make it soft and pliable. Because right now the henna mixture is very watery. Push this around so it dissolves a little bit. I like to kind of do a double boiler type situation. I don't have it on the stove, but underneath this glass bowl is um, very, very hot water. Because I didn't want to add more water to the mix and make it thin. Um, it has to be kind of like a pancake or cake or cake batter type of situation. So I'm just kind of stabbing it with my plastic um, spatula and like moving it around over the hot water to help it dissolve. Okay guys, I decided to add a little olive oil. Okay, let's jump in the shower. So I just got 
out of the shower. <sighs> okay, if I remember correctly, this was a messy process, and yet I'm not prepared. So I'm just, as you see, I'm just splitting my hair into four sections. How should I do this? I'm just pin it up. I have a bowl of body pinch in front of me here. And I think I'm gonna start from the back. It was so funny when my husband saw the gray hair, usually I thought gray hair, once you start getting them, felt like a different texture from your other hair. I don't know why I thought that, but yeah. I didn't feel any different texture, so that's cool. And when I asked him if it was like yellow gray, you know, or it has so many, it's a great herb for your air, your hair, but it has so, and I do have gloves, so I don't want my hands to stain, but it's such a great hair mask and it makes your hair super shiny and very strong. And it's a natural ingredient that bonds to your hair. God, I hope I'm not. Probably should have put some towels or something on the floor. My husband, when he saw this in the bowl, he's like, it's green, is your hair gonna be green? I was like, I hope not. <laughs> and if I remember correctly, this stuff is a nightmare to rinse out. But you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Okay, next part. And he saw the gray hair in the front, so. Like I said, my batch may have seemed small, but as you can tell, my hair is really, really thin. So, and the conditioner is making it very easy to guide through my hair. I just think it's easier. I don't know. Has anyone ever applied? And this may sound like a very ignorant question and I apologize if it is because like I said this is only my second time um, applying henna to my hair ever through my whole time of um, my natural hair journey and I started my natural hair journey if you did not know and I'll make sure I'll try to find that video and link it down below but in 2011 now my big chop happened in I believe in 2015. Hope I'm doing this right, guys. My hair just started popping up recently, I guess. But I didn't want to use a um, a store like chemical dye. I wanted to use something natural and I decided to go with the henna and lush for that application. Oh, another thing I heard about henna is that because it really bonds to your hair and it is permanent, that some ladies experience some curl pattern change. Um, the first time I used it, I really didn't see that, but then again, I kind of have like a three curl, a three pattern, um, curl pattern anyway. So my curl pattern is not the loosest, but it's not the tightest either. But I also heard that henna elongates your curls. So I guess if you're looking to have your curls look more stretched, I guess that's a, a good thing. So, 
Okay, so that small applique, that small batch for a block of henna was all I needed. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off these gloves. And I do have a plastic bag, just like a grocery bag. Stick my head in it. Well, not my head, my hair. <laughs> Duh. Push out some of the air. So I kind of, I want it to stick close to my noggin. grab my scarf to trap the heat in my coast that's being produced by my head so that way it can do its thing. I'm gonna probably leave in here for about two hours. Rinse it out and I'll show you guys. However, before I leave, the aftermath. All over my shoulders. <laughs> all the henna and my husband said I got some on the tub. There we go. Clean up time but not on the floor. <laughs> So both of these pieces are from Fashion Nova. This is a long maxi dress with a very pretty um, crochet bodice. But to winterize it, obviously it's already really long. I will wear um, high boots underneath it and some stockings so they keep me extra warm. But for the top, I'm gonna pair a sweater on top of it. This is from Fashion Nova as well. And it has like a, like a little tie detail in the front that I think are, is really cute. And these two colors, they're in the same um, color family, I believe, um, lavender, pinkish blush. So um, I think it'll be really cute. I'll show you guys tomorrow um, what it looks like if I was able to pull that off. What do you guys think? Do you guys take summer pieces and winterize, winterize them? <laughs> Alrighty, but yeah, I thought it would be cute together. I showed you my lights at night. Let's turn the window on the porch. Okay, and then to see and Michael said that some of the lights blew out but you get the idea next year we'll, we'll replace the one burned out bulb that made all the lights go out on the choo-choo train yeah. nothing too extravagant with the lights just something to know that I say we have Christmas spirit this one is made out of wood um, from my job it's a maker space so um, they used a I don't know a laser cutter I think to make this 3d ornament out of wood um, so yeah I love it it's a great addition to our tree this year so yeah every year we get a special ornament and this is 2017 ornament on our tree I like my tree it's very eclectic I'm not really a fancy type of chick. <laughs> I guess that is a little, people will be like, really? But no, I'm really not. Um, I love things that are eclectic and putting different styles together. So the main colors um, are white, red, gold, and green. And I have some ribbon going down. I don't know. Oh, babe, where's the... Where's the, oh, right here, sorry. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer Had a very shiny nose 
Whoa. I love that. That wouldn't have was from last year. For Raptors. This one was 2015. Okay, which other one? Okay, right here. This one is 2014. Mm -hmm. Michael's looking for the other ones. Did we just start doing this in 2014? This is 2013. Yeah, I think we started the tradition in 2013. So that's five years. Roxy must know she has lots of pleasure. Roxy, what do you see, girl? Not yet. You gotta wait. You gotta wait, baby. You gotta wait.